Hello there, viewers. I'm Ken Sharp. I'm professor of surgery at the Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. I'll have Dr. Ellison introduce himself in a minute. We are here today to discuss some highlights from the 2020 Clinical Congress session entitled Hot Topics in General Surgery. Dr. Ellison and I have now done this for eight years and uh, are quite excited to talk about one of our, one of our babies. Dr. Ellison. Well, Ken, thank you. Uh, my name is Chris Ellison, and I'm Professor Emeritus at uh, The Ohio State University uh, College of Medicine. It's been my pleasure to work with Ken and the program committee over the past eight years to put the Hot Topics session together. Ken, why don't you tell folks uh, how we come about with the ideas that we include? So I think we're both still pretty in tune with the practice of surgery, uh, but I think that what you and I have done consistently over the years is look at the American College of Surgeons communities. And we look to see the topics that get a lot of discussion or have an interesting twist. I think we additionally just use our own intuition about what we are talking about in the surgeon's lounge or with our younger faculty. And we have no problem finding topics that people are interested in. I agree. I, I think the communities are a great source. And, you know, by the end of a year, we, we usually have uh, 20 topics that we have to whittle down and eventually choose. A normal program is, is 10, but, but this year's program is six uh, hot topics. So, Chris, what did you think uh, of the six topics this year? Was there one that kind of caught your eye or surprised you? One did surprise me, uh, and that's uh, the detection of intimate partner violence, uh, and particularly during the COVID pandemic, when everybody's locked down, so to speak, there's been kind of an uptick in intimate partner violence. And we had Carrie Sims, who's a traumatologist and head of trauma and acute care surgery at, at Ohio State, come on and talk to us about how to detect it and what steps to take uh, in terms of helping the individual patient. I, I, w I thought that was a great one, great one. I thought it was pretty interesting myself. I, I had heard Carrie talk before about this just very briefly. And by the way, she did get a philanthropy award from the foundation uh, three years ago uh, for her research. She got a research grant from the college. So we featured it at the luncheon. Great. Just FYI, since you're chair of the foundation. Well, I appreciate that. What did you think was the hottest topic th this year? Well, you know, I thought the one that caught my eye that was most interesting was uh, Dean Makami from Honolulu talking about the use of uh, endoluminal stents for the treatment of leaks in the upper gastrointestinal tract. Not exactly the newest topic out there, but it's still not very widely adopted. Um, and he gave some really good concrete tips on how to do this and how to manage the stents. Uh, I also liked the idea this year that we had speakers from Boston, Massachusetts, all the way to Honolulu, Hawaii. So we really reached out and got a great geographical representation in our speakers. Great. You're right. You know, another one that really I thought was great was Stan Ashley talking about robotic inguinal hernia repair and uh, kind of showing the real data, uh, telling the rest of the story. I, I thought it was uh, very timely and uh, helpful to the practicing surgeon. Well, we, we, we really did have very polished speakers, but of course, that's who we choose. We want, to pe we want to choose people who people want to listen to and enjoy listening to their, just even their speech. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. What about, um, I had a couple of ideas about topics that I wish we'd been able to include this year. One of them was, uh, we, we often try to have a breast topic and a endocrine topic. And this year, the breast topic I really was interested in was slightly different. Uh, and that was, um, uh, I saw a recent article on ductal carcinoma in situ and lifetime risk of dying from breast cancer in, in women. And it was pretty shocking to me as to how many of those women still went on to die of breast cancer. So I think next year we got to make sure we get that one in there uh, because that's, that's a, boy, that's a common problem in the breast sur uh, surgery area right now. What about you? What topic would you have liked to have seen us add? Well, I have a, uh, interest in endocrine surgery. So I think it would have been great to have a topic on pheochromocytoma and how to manage uh, the patient preoperative. Things have changed. How your diagnosis changed. The understanding of the genetics has changed. Uh, so I, I think that would be a great topic for next year.